So this is the Clark Vision model and it shows how employment changes over time. So if we look at pre-industrial countries, these tend to be the poorer ones, they've got a really high percentage of primary employment and that's because people need to farm and they need to farm so that they can provide for themselves in terms of food. It's a basic kind of existence. If they have any spare crops, they can sell them and make a little bit of profit to buy some manufactured goods. So really high, we call it subsistence farming here. They also don't really have any machinery, so lots of people have to work the field and the land. If you look down here, secondary is about 20% because there still are things that need to be produced in that country, like uh, clothing, for example, and the tools that people need to use for, for farming. It is starting to increase as people start to develop and realise they can do things more efficiently. Services, tertiary is low because people don't have much spare money, we call that disposable income, and therefore there's not that much requirement for things like shops and pubs and cinemas, and people aren't paying much tax because they've not got a, a job that's paying tax because they're farming for themselves, so there aren't things like schools and hospitals and the, and the public services as much. As we move into the industrial sector, we can see that the first thing that happens is we can see a decline in our primary um, employment. It doesn't mean they're not doing as much farming or, or extracting raw materials from the land and the sea, but they started to get machinery, so it requires less people to do it. And that's because they're starting to technologically develop in industrialization. We can see that secondary goes up because more things are being manufactured in large-scale factories. Also, people in post-industrial countries want manufactured goods, which are cheaper to make in the industrialised because of cheaper wages and poorer working conditions. So we see this rise in secondary and also a rise in tertiary because people have got more disposable income because they've now got a regular wage from a factory job or from manufacturing and therefore they can afford to go out, go to the pub, go to clubs, etc. and spend that money on services and with people starting to pay taxes, the government services like schools, hospitals, the public services are starting to employ more people in the service industry. As we go into post-industrial, we see that tertiary pitters out, there's a limit to how many people can be employed in the service industry. Manufacturing has gone down, it stays about 20% because we've still got um, things like perishable food products which people want that have to be made locally, they can't be flown in from China because they'd go off. And also we are having, encouraging some manufacturing as well in this country to try and keep things local. Primary's gone right down because of um, machinery and also because we started to use up all our raw materials that they're still finding in the lower sections. And we see this rise in paternity as we move towards the high tech industries and start to sell our ideas to other countries as well. If we were looking at pre-industrial, we're talking like uh, a country like Malawi, and you can see that in the textbook. Industrial would be somewhere like Vietnam, and France and the UK would be post-industrial. Thank you.